Hello humans, my name is Jemai and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, please feel free to subscribe, watch any of my old videos, but also watch this one as well. In today's video, I am going to be sharing some things I am learning and I'm still learning and hopefully that helps you as well. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that's been watching my videos, sharing them, commenting, supporting me in any way. There is a lot of people that have been coming from the diaspora Ugandan community and I'm so, so happy because I, I feel like we're connecting in some ways i feel like for the longest time i felt so alone but i'm in a place where i'm like ah i get to connect with people around the world so i'm really excited thank you so much for watching and i'll be posting every monday so come back every monday and watch all my videos um but yeah let's get into this video okay point number one if it requires fake smiling don't do it don't go to it um for the longest time i was the kind of person who felt like i had to be on all the time i love to smile i like i love bringing people joy but there's some times where i just felt like i don't really want to do this but then i felt like i had to be on and be like hi guys blah, blah. and i'm like jemai calm down so my encouragement to you if it requires fake being fake nice don't do it if it requires a fake smile don't do it number two allow yourself to say no give yourself permission to say no to things you don't always have to say yes to things I was the kind of person who would just be, say yes to everything. I would never turn down an offer. If somebody invited me somewhere, I'll just show up. I would do, I have to be there. Like I felt obligated to be places. And I remember at one point I was working like three jobs. Actually, it was like two jobs. I was working two jobs, volunteering three times a week. And I was also hosting events for communities and stuff. And I was burned out. Like I was just like so tired at the point. Like I couldn't, I didn't have sleep. Like, and a lot of people thought like, I don't like sleeping. But in reality, I was like, I just didn't, I felt like I didn't have a lot of time in the time in the day to do stuff. So I had to stay up to do stuff. Um, or just have time by my, for myself. And so uh, lately I've been allowing myself to say no. Like if I don't want to be places, I'm not going to go. And don't feel like you're offending somebody because oh, you're saying no to something. No, say no if you don't want to go. That's one of the things. Number three, um, unlearn prioritizing people's comfort. Let me just explain that. A lot of the times we don't want to say certain things because we don't want to make people uncomfortable, but then it, it, it affects us as humans. When it comes to like, one of the things I realized when it came to racism, like I experienced a lot of like microaggression from the people that I used to call friends and i never called them out because i just didn't want to make things uncomfortable for them but then i realized he was making me hurt in like all that stuff now i'm in a position where i'm like i don't care like if you actually like do anything to me or like throw a microaggression at me i call you out right away and i feel like for the longest time um i just wanted to make people comfortable so i give you permission to unprioritize making people comfortable yeah number four i think i'm just gonna put a number okay don't let the relationship in your mind go farther than the relationship in real life this is the best relationship advice i've ever received i am the kind of person who loves love and loves like being in this like happy bubble and i feel like for the longest time like i'll be like if somebody like i fancied somebody even if they just say hi, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think he likes me kind of thing. And I'm like, the relationship in your mind is going way farther. Like, to me, we're talking, just just chatting. But in my head, I'm already married to you kind of thing. So, as much as it sucks, just get out of your mind. Call it as it is. Even when it comes to friendships. Okay, the other thing, you are allowed to leave. I talked about it in one of my Instagram posts, but I feel like we have to acknowledge it. If a a space does not serve you if a person does not serve you anymore it's okay to break it off it's okay to move on give yourself that permission to be like i i you no longer serve me and it's okay for me to excuse myself from this space and so i give you that permission because i feel like for the longest time i felt like I can't leave a place, I have to fix a place or I have to fix this friendship. But I'm like, sometimes it's broken and you can fix it and you don't need to fix it. And so my encouragement, leave. <laughs> it's okay to leave. It's okay to leave spaces that don't serve you anymore. It's okay to leave friendships that don't help you grow, that 
that are hurting you as a person that places that you don't feel seen in but places that you don't feel loved and celebrated in it's okay huh. marriage is not the end goal i'm gonna say it again because i feel like a lot of people in the back need to hear this i'm talking my aunties and my family members or people around me marriage is not the end goal a lot of people prioritize marriage and for me i prioritize community to be honest and like meant like me i prioritize myself and my safety and my health and all the things and a lot of people feel like once you're married everything's gonna be amazing and i've seen people who got married got a divorce and it's, it's still not the end goal and so marriage is not the end goal yes it's something that it's cool to have and it's cool to get married however it's not the end goal so don't feel pressured don't feel like you have to be married in order to be have purpose you have purpose even when you're not married you have like you are a person right and the other thing actually i'll say too you are a person before you're still a person even when you're married and so to all the married people who don't have a personality anymore because they're married i tell you you still can have hobbies outside of your husband and your wife if you leave for other people's uh, approval, you will die by their rejection. I am a people pleaser by heart. And for the longest time, I felt like I had to be validated by people. I had to be approved by people. And I found myself in spaces where I was like, oh my gosh, this person has to believe that I'm awesome. But I'm like, if they reject you, reject you're crushed. And like, I feel like stop leaving for people, stop leaving for their acceptance, stop leaving for their approval and if you do that, their rejection, even when they reject you, let's just say you fancied somebody. If you fancied somebody, um, if they reject you, you're not like your whole world is not crumbling down because, oh my gosh, this guy rejected me because he does not think I'm pretty enough or whatever they think you are. Um, and so, yeah, just stop living for other people's approval. And I am learning that too. So I encourage you to do the same. Not everybody's happy and happy for your success even if it's family i had to learn this the hard way for the last few years where it's like you expect people to celebrate you you expect uh people to love and encourage you or whatever but not everybody's gonna do that even if they're your closest friends not everybody wants you to see you succeed there is somebody out there waiting for you to fail in order for them to feel joyful or fulfilled which is so sad because i'm like why would you just wait on me to to fail the other thing have high standards but low expectations i am the kind of person who had so much expectation on other people because i grew up like where like community it was never questioned i knew people's intentions like people were straightforward right and then i had these expectations when i came here which was completely different canadians are like another breed um very individualistic and like all that stuff right and so i had these expectations like especially with friendships like i was just like i expect this like I, like I, I expected quality in this kind of thing however i was let down because i was i had so many expectations over people and so my encouragement to you and to myself is like don't have expectations over people but have high standards for yourself meaning you are not gonna allow low quality humans into your life because you have standards right and so expectations lower them to the to the bottom and have high standards when that it will change the whole experience of your life and like even when it comes to dating even when it comes to relationships even when it comes to like jobs or anything like that having high standards so high high standards low expectations it will change your life you are the most permanent thing in your life like everything else around you is going to change and it's going to disappear but you are going to stay with yourself legit and like that's one thing my friend abby taught me and so just celebrate you love you like learn to be your biggest fun like learn to be your biggest fun and like celebrate who you are as a person because i feel like a lot of people feel like you have to be modest and like humble and i'm like no i am proud of myself i there are so many things i'm proud of in my life and i feel like we have to learn to celebrate ourselves and be our own biggest friends also speaking of that like you have to have your definition of success there is a lot of people who see me and don't see success there is a lot of people who see me and see success i as a person stopped 
looking at success from people's eyes i look at success through my eyes there's so many things like even like waking up is success to be honest there's so many people who who didn't wake up today you woke up that's something that's an achievement uh even like when it came to like moving out of like brampton like to me i was just like proud of myself and i was just like i've done it a lot of people may think just like that's a normal thing or whatever and like but they don't know who you are i remember the the moments where like I, I never really talk about this with people but like i remember having a point where i was i was considered going to live in a homeless shelter yes in canada um and like so for me when i when i when you see me enjoy my space and like my home you don't know me and so you don't know why i celebrate and so a lot of people may not know your story so like you define your success you define your own success like some people consider marriage a success to me at the moment i'm like cool do your thing like it's not a part of my success right now it's like completely different and i feel like we should not have timeline for things like there's some people who are still in school right now and they're like my age there's some people who are um graduated and they're married with 20 kids i don't know at my age and like i feel like there is this like expectations of like having things figured out at like 25 and like having this awesome marriage and i'm like that's not my <laughs> i'm just trying to like get through this thing called life um and so yeah like define it your own like have your own definition of success and that would change the way you interact with things and the other thing tied to that is like comparison is a killer of joy i know you've had this a million times but i think people don't comprehend that's the moment you stop comparing yourself to others you will start enjoying your own like things i'm talking like you will actually learn to celebrate yourself because you're not like legit you're not competing um you're not competing with like say so and so you're competing like legit my competition like is myself like past jemai what are you doing like like i'm competing with myself and i feel like there's so many people who are competing with people and they'll never get there there is always going to be somebody skinnier than you richer than you everything than you uh and so like stop the hustle stop the like i'm gonna be this person i'm gonna be greater than this person no just be greater than who you were yesterday um and so that's one thing i encourage you with because i'm like get it together stop comparing don't take away your joy and the other thing uh love people the way they receive love not the way you receive love i was the kind of person who would just be like i um again we talked about love languages in my q a and we're talking about how like words of affirmation and physical touch are my number one and then you got quality time on number two and i feel like for the longest time i would just like bombard people with like i love you you're awesome but like people didn't receive love that way and so my encouragement is like just love people the way they receive love and you will see a a difference in relationship like you will see your relationship glow and blossom and so much even the relationship with yourself like like if you know you are a physical touch kind of person or if you know you're like words of affirmation encourage yourself celebrate yourself like i don't know spend time with yourself i like taking myself on dates and i feel like a lot of people are still like oh my gosh going on a date by yourself that's so strange but i love it it's so great um i encourage you to do that so do that in your own time take your time go go on a date with yourself take yourself out dress up or don't dress up take yourself out celebrate yourself the other thing don't let other people's opinions about you become your own i feel like a lot of people have different opinions about me and when i was a bit younger like especially in my early 20s i like just believed everything people believed about me like i was just like oh my gosh this person thinks i'm i suck and i'm like oh my gosh and i remember this one person was just basically like oh like i at one point i believed that i was ugly because somebody in their right mind thought oh like you you're too dark that's why i can't be with you and i'm like and then i believed that because i was just like oh my gosh because i'm dark this is why i'm not gonna get married this is why i'm like this and this is why i'm single and i genuinely believe that and it's so sad that like there was a time in my life where i actually believed that i was ugly that i was not good enough thought like i remember 
like for the longest time i thought i was dumb because i didn't understand math okay if you're from uganda you know uh what is ple i legit like failed like failed failed really bad like i did really bad and i remember feeling so dumb for the longest time and now i'm like i realized none of that matters because when i came here i had to do all of this all over again so like in the end my ple didn't matter <laughs> and so my encouragement to you is like don't let don't let other people's opinions become your own i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a completely random video but i thought i should make it because i was gonna make a vlog but then i didn't um and so i'm like why not just make this like little chit chat video um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment below um something you're either learning or you uh you enjoyed about this video so we'll talk soon <laughs>